Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode on Alma. Today we are going to get a big payday by selling the ketchup pellets, the rye and some silage. And we'll see what we can do with the money that we are gonna get for those. But let's move on here. We need to move some ketchup pellets to put them on the trailer first. And then we can go to the sell point. Actually, we can check where the best price is for ketchup and go sell a big trailer load of ketchup. Let's get this loaded first. I'm thinking about doing it on a time lapse. And I will see you at the sell point to see how much money we are going to make on the ketchup. This was the last ketchup pallet, it took a little bit of time to, to load them up, I didn't expect to get this many, because we already loaded a lot of ketchup pallets in the last episode, but uh, ok, we now have a full trailer load and we need to go sell them, I don't know exactly where we need to sell them, so we need, let's check. Uh, ketchup, 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 where's the ketchup? Here's the ketchup. So we need to go at the diner. Let's tag the place. I think I know where it is. Should be just around here. Yes. Now let's see how well we managed to get this trailer out of the parking lot. Because it's a pain in the ass to, to reverse dolly trailer, but... Uh, if we take it easy it's going to it's going to be okay i think we manage i think we, we are going to be able to get out we have 56 thousand liters of ketchup i didn't expect to get this much but this is one year worth of ketchup because i didn't sell anything to the year i waited for the best price so I, the payday is going to be worth it let's say uh, also I think we have a loan so I can't wait to sell this to repay the loan afterwards we are going to move to December because the best price for rye and for silage is in December so yeah, the sell point is just around the corner over here then this trailer I think can stay at the tailor shop because in April we are going to sell the clothes also and that will be another big payday because I think we are going to have a few pallets of clothes but let's see how much money we are going to make from selling the ketchup we made 210,000 from ketchup that's amazing let's repay the loan First of all, we still have 200,000 in the bank, so I'm very glad because with all this money, probably I'm going to be able to change a few things. I don't know exactly what that means, I don't know exactly what I'll buy. I know for sure that I need a field 
at least one field to be able to put right uh, to put wheat in it but uh, okay see you in december we are now in december it's snowing but i'm glad the snow didn't settle yet so let's just jump around into the john deere tractor put some lights on and i'm going to attach to this Bremner trailer over here because the first thing that we are going to do today is to sell the rye afterwards we can see about selling some of the silage uh, let's check where the best price for rye is so uh, the best price for rye was in november but doesn't matter it's not that huge of a difference and the best price is in sedalia so we need to take the train and the best price for peas it's in june apparently so we are not going to sell this okay so let's start transporting the rye to the railroad silo and i will see you after we run the train the rye is now transported to the railroad silo i rented the train which just arrived now let's start the locomotive and move the train a little bit forward and load the uh, load the rye in so we can go sell it 
Uh, I think we need to put the Rhine to train cars, but uh, let's see. And what do you think we are going to make from the Rhine? I'm hoping somewhere from, uh, I don't know, let's say 70k to, to 80 on the Rhine. I hope. Okay, we are now full. Let's get moving. Also, we can admire the the map while we take a joyride in the in the train. The map it's it's beautiful, and now that it's uh, it's snowing, even so, and it's more beautiful when when this is uh, all of the fields are covered with snow and uh, with snow everywhere. Of course, it's not pleasant to work in the snow, it's not pleasant to move around in the snow, but uh, otherwise, yeah, I think this is a good map if you are planning to do some snow plowing and stuff like that, because uh, in the winter time we have a lot of snow, like like we, we've seen uh, in the previous winter. But this year I think I'm gonna skip winter altogether, because uh, we have... I think 4 weeks left until Farming Simulator 25 will be here, so I don't have time to, let's say, play around in the in the snow, even though I would love to do some snow plowing and stuff like that, but yeah, it's, there's no time. I want to be able to buy some more land, plant the wheat, and before Farming Simulator 25 is here, uh, harvest all the crops that we have growing. Yes, I want to sell it. I was hoping for 70 to 80k, we made over 115. So let's now jump back into the John Deere. And go back to the farm. Actually, I'll see you at the farm and then we can get some silage loaded. Because I want to sell some silage also. And I'm hoping that after selling the silage we'll end up with somewhere around 400k in the bank. And that's a lot of money and we'll see what we can do with them. Okay, we are now back at the farm. Let's go put this trailer away in the shed. Where we get it, got it from. Because I don't want it to become full of snow. Actually in game the equipment doesn't get filled with snow, but you get my point. In real life it would and that's not good for the, for the trailer. Now let's attach to the bale trailer, which is over here. And let's go fill it up with some silage bales. But first, actually, let's check if those silage bales are fermented, because uh, they weren't last time. Yes, they are. So it doesn't matter which bales we are going to load. Uh, I'm guessing I will load these ones over here because they're on the side and easier to be loading. Well, one of them somehow managed to get behind the track. Oh, we got it. This will take a little bit of time while this thing uh, loads the bears. Let's see where we need to sell the silage because I don't know uh, silage 338 at the biogas plant but I don't think the where's the biogas plant on this map here oh it's close to the farm uh, let's go to the biogas plant and if the biogas plant won't take all of uh, our bales then we can go sell at the live stock point at some more because the biogas plant, I think it will take only until it's full. That's how it usually works, but you never know. Maybe on this map it's, it's different. Let's start the time lapse because this is taking a while and I will see you at, at the biogas plant.
Okay, we are almost at the biogas plant. Let's see if this biogas plant will accept all of our bales. Actually, I'm not counting on it, but uh, we'll have to see. And also, we'll have to see if the biogas plant has the uh, cell point on the ground like they usually do, or I need to get the telehandler here to to be able to sell the bales. That apparently the selling point is down here so yeah let's see let's see yeah it accepted all of our bales we made in total around uh, 42 45 around 50k so that's not bad let's go load load up another trailer and i'll bring it also to the biogas plant and then uh, we can see about spending some of those money. We are now back with the second load, let's sell this and then we can see about spending some of this money that we have. Let's see how much we end up with. Not a bad payday, we ended up with 415,000 and 500. So it's not bad. Let's uh, now go back to the farm and see about spending them. Okay, now we are back at, to the, at the farm. Let's put this trailer back in here, back in this shed over here. And then we can take a look at fields. Because the first thing that I want to spend money on is new fields. Uh, I think this is it. Let's kill the lights and turn off the engine. And now let's go to the map. Also, I will need to uh, feed the sheep and give them some more food. The cows are thing. I think they are still okay. They have 240,000 liters. We don't have a loan anymore, so we paid it. And now let's take a look at fields. I want some fields, maybe, that already have some wheat and some or barley in them. Because, like I said, we need wheat and barley for the chicken. And we have 29, 7 also has barley. What does 33 have? I think it's rye. Yes, 33 it's rye, so I don't want rye. So we have 29 and 7 that already have the crops in them. Uh, let's see how much they cost. Oh, this one it's together with 28. What does 28 have in it? Nothing. It's cultivated. And I think it needs plowing? No. Okay, so we can buy these two fields for 180. Okay. And this one for 121. This is expensive. Why is this, is this so expensive? Uh, okay. So, let's buy this. 180 and 28 will be also drilled with wheat. So, we'll have two wheat fields over here. Uh, field for our field, it's 
it's harvested so we need to drill it this one is the i think canola field this will be soybeans and this will be wheat and we still have 235,000 in the bank so let's take a look in the used machinery store let's see what's available over here uh, we have a flingle trailer it's a 40,000 liter liter trailer how big is ours i don't remember uh yeah the game froze for a little bit again i don't know why ours is 33,000, so it will be a good idea maybe to replace it with this one it will be a little bit bigger not that much bigger but a little bit and we have two tractors we have this though it's far series c7 and this vent vario this will be a nice addition to the farm it's a very big tractor to do i don't know plowing cultivating drilling and stuff like that around the farm but this will more or less take all of our money i don't know if i should replace this one uh, this one is a 280 horsepower tractor and we can get 112 for it this one is a 175 horsepower tractor and we can get 59 out of it uh, i don't know i think i should keep the case because i need a tractor also i remember let's purchase field information for this one and check the nitrogen yeah we need to fertilize field 29 because it already has a crop in it and for that i'm going to need row crop tires i don't know if i can put row crop tires on this one let's go and check this if i can put row crop tires on this i'm going to do i'm going to do like this i'm going to go fertilize that field and then i think i'm going to replace this john deere tractor with that big vent uh, let's see i'm not gonna repair it customize and uh, we can increase the engine power for a little bit let's see if we can put we cannot michelins no so we cannot put row crop tires on this one so i'll have to go get the case back to the farm to be able to fertilize uh, the wheat field but first of all let's grab the trailer and i'll go back to the shop and sell those two this trailer and this tractor and I'm going to buy the big fan I I've made a decision and then in the end we'll see how much money we have maybe buy another small field or something or it, otherwise just keep the money to see I don't know what we can do with them so I'll see you back at the at the shop Okay, we are back at the shop, let's repair and repaint this and sell this trailer and also repair and repaint the John Deere tractor and sell them. And now let's go to the used machinery store and first of all let's buy this ginormous fent. It has 500 horsepower standard and I can go to 673, but I don't need 673, not for now. Uh, the track setup it's set to three meters but i think it's best to keep it at standard i'll go for us spec because we are in us and i'll put the ice area pro compact on it it's 250 000 for this big tractor and also let's get this uh, trailer it's bigger than the one that we had in the past I'm also thinking about getting this Deutz far and replacing the case, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll I'll think about it while we get the big tractor and trailer back to the to the farm. It will be a good idea, but I don't know if actually I think we can check. Let's see if we can put row crop tires on this one. Yes, we can. So yeah, probably I'm gonna I'm gonna get this one also and replace the 
BK tractor that we, we have. This one it's bigger. I think the K tractor it's a small tractor from the small category and this one it's a medium size category tractor, the Deutz far. So yeah. But look at this one. Look at this. This is humongous. We don't have a three point link on it in the front, but uh, I don't think I'm going to need it. Especially if we buy the, the Deutz bar. I'm gonna park it in front over here just to repair it because it's second hand, so it needs some love, some maintenance. Also, the, the trailer it cost us 10,000, but it's not a problem. And now let's get back to the farm. And while I I drive back because this tractor is a little bit slower than the John Deere that we just saw. I'll think about that Deutz far. But uh, yeah, that could be also a great, uh, a great purchase. But let's let's think about it. We are now back at the farm, and I've made the decision. I'm going to change, to change, to replace also the the case tractor, and I'm going to buy that. Uh, that Deutz far. I mean that that will be a great purchase. This is massive already. This fence, and I still need to get used to to the tracked version because it can turn on the spot, and I'm not used to it. And I also I almost gone off the road twice <laughs> because of it. But it's not a problem. I will get used to it. Let's park this. Tractor, tractor somewhere on the grass over here and let's jump into the case start the engine and let's go to the vehicle shop and I think the vehicle shop should be just around the corner yes it's here uh, and sell let's sell this but before we sell it yeah of course uh, repair and repaint it and now let's this is also nice <laughs> let's get this Deutz far uh, I'm gonna get the standard I'm gonna put the narrow tires on it from the start front loader attacher we don't need it and we put the ice area and let's buy this for 138 and we can for 35,000 we can get this vantage option for with spot spraying which is free okay this is not bad at all let's see what sprayer do we have we have the vernalan for 24 meters yeah i'm gonna change this also let's go to the farm and grab the Gwenerland sprayer that we have and uh, then come back to the to the store, sell it and buy the the other one. The, the, the other one will be more effective in spraying the wheat the weeds because it has that spot spraying and we and we will reduce the consumption of herbicide by a lot. So I think that's very much worth it otherwise if we didn't have the spot spraying let's say what's it called included in the price already in the configuration it would have cost us i think it's around 20 or 30 or 40 thousand i don't remember exactly but a lot of money to put it so for the 35 thousand we are getting a increase working with and the increased tank and also the spot spraying so yeah that's a great acquisition uh, the spot spraying if you don't know it's a feature that only works with precision farming and as you know for this series we have precision farming installed and uh, and running that's why i had to buy field information for the new two new fields that uh, we purchased uh, the field information there is two ways to obtain it. You can use an ice area scout and go around the field and take samples and get them analyzed. And the other way is to just 
uh, have someone take the samples for you, analyze it and give you the results. This is the, let's say, more expensive way to do it, but it's also the faster way to do it. And I prefer doing it uh, like this. Uh, I do it by myself only if I play like some sort of... Uh, what's it called? Survival series. Otherwise I'll, I'll just purchase the soil information and it is what it is. Uh, let's get this empty. Where should I empty it? I'll empty it somewhere near the silos over here. Let's see if it does it. Okay, now it's empty. Uh, I'll see you back at the shop. We are going to sell this and we are going to purchase the new sprayer. We are almost back at the shop. This Deutz far is a little bit faster than the big fent we just bought. So for carting things around I think this will be the primary option that we are going to use. Let's uh, repair also, let's repaint this, sell it and the uh, front tanker also because I don't need them. And let's go buy this one. We are going to use it with narrow tires, with spot spraying, yes, the main color. Uh, can be like this, it looks interesting, I never had it in, in black or grey. So yeah, let's just purchase this. We don't have that much money in the bank. So we had over 400,000, I think it was 415. And now we are down to 19,000 again, but we have two new tractors. Okay, new used tractors. One new used uh, sprayer and two new fields. So I think the money was well spent. Uh, let's go and repair those. I'm hoping I'll have enough money to be able to repair both of them. And then I'll see you back at the farm. Let's see. Uh, 2000 for this one, 1000 for this one. Okay, so we are back at 15,000. Now I'll see you back at the farm. We are now back at the farm. I think we have two IBCs of fertilizer somewhere in the back over here. Let's put them into this sprayer, see how much it feels and then I'll decide if I'll put some more or not. Uh, I don't want to fill it with fertilizer because I don't think it's going to need all of it. Let's see. 37%. Let's put some more in just to be on the safe side because I don't want to make the round trip back to the to the farm, I think 3000 liters of fertilizer should be more than enough. Now let's go to field number 29 and uh, fertilize spray it. And I think after we are going to end this episode. I know in this episode we didn't do much farming. Actually we didn't do almost any farming besides this fertilizer spraying field number 29. But all the other activities were necessary because we made a lot of money and we also spend a lot of money but now we have a big tract hand tractor we have two new two new fields we have this new Deutz far we have this new sprayer so i'm happy about it okay i'll time lapse this and i'll see you when this is done
Okay, now the wheat field is fully fertilized. It's time to end this episode here. I hope you are still enjoying this series. If you do, please give us a like. If you want to watch more of my videos, subscribe to the channel. And in the end, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.